Hello, and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for some racing. I got punted off and I've fallen over, and actually, can I get back on? I can get back onto the turkey, that's good. That's helpful. Um, yes, we are here on GTA 5 for some racing around a, uh, another kind of uh, replica of a real world circuit. Lado's managed to die already. I don't know where the hell they've gone. I don't actually know where some of the vehicles are buggering off to. Um, so yeah, see if you can figure out the track before we move on to the second race, if you like. Because um, it'll say at the start of that, some cars are just being flung up a hill. Uh, is there a massive jump start from... That is an impressive jump start from Aaron. Right there, going for like the biggest slingshot they could manage. Uh, they're getting a... <laughs> oh, Gliska <laughs> 10 out of 10 attempt by Gliska. It didn't work. <laughs> the cone launched their car a mile into the air. But that was some some attempt right there. Impega, in the end, did the job at uh, stopping the jump starting. Uh, we've got a slide from a level 8. I've got great momentum on the outside here. We will get past Longbow. It'll move us up into third, uh, possibly. Oh, we're going to have a big slide. The Rabbit GT Classic uh, is, I mean, it was a car from the options we could choose that I've not, we've not driven in a very long time. I think we drove it once when it came out, and that was about it. And we're around the outside of Longbow. It's the inside. Oh, not quite got car enough clear um, on that one. Just, I think might have, Longbow might have got helped into that corner as well. Uh, thought we were just going to get far enough clear on that one. Sadly not. Um, it is the first lap. There is plenty more uh, to come around this track. Can we? No, definitely not be flat through here. Ooh. Yeah, definitely don't be flat through there. If you run wide, you're going to have a massive amount of problems uh, on the uh, like raised platform part. That will ruin your day, pretty much. Uh, we're getting some slipstream now. Oh, it's not a particularly, uh, it's not a particularly big run towards the next quarter big enough to hopefully get the pass completed, we, although we will then go lose the position immediately down the next straight. Yep, uh, maybe not actually. Level 8 did not get a big enough slipstream really to make that one happen. Pega is passed. I mean, we're back up to the lead. We're going to just form a big clump of cars battling for the lead of the race here. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh that's not the way you want to be three wide. <laughs> in real life, I don't think three wide ever works there. In GTA, it was sketchy as anything. Uh, we've got a good run to the inside here, kind of. That's difficult to carry speed on that tighter line, though. But we get some slipstream on the exit. It's not going to be enough. Don't know whether these cars can bump draft level 8. It's very brave on the outside. Lado with a big dive. It's all gone wrong for Impega. We'll put Impega back the right way. And Ewan found the wall and almost fell off the wall. Uh, went for a little bit of a roll. Uh, Gliska got stuck on a hay bale in a weird way. Actually, that's a very unusual way to have got stuck on the, on the hay bale. Oh, dear. Okay. I mean, we're fifth. We're not far off the leaders, though. It's, it was a little bit of a mad... I mean, the, the, a lot of cars trying to fit into turn one is always a challenge. Uh, and all it takes is just a little mistake, and then it impacts everybody, really. We've got loads of speed through there. got nowhere to go, because Ewan was sliding slow mid-corner. Still got tons of momentum at the moment. Going to end up in the middle, though. There's not a huge amount of space for a slightly slidey Aston Martin in the middle of that one. Ewan's there, going to give us a push up the hill, basically. Uh, <laughs> it didn't, I don't think, made any contact with the back of our car, but was just there the whole run up the hill. And Peg is behind us. We've got a great drive here. Okay, that's the end of the race on lap three, <laughs> if only. I'm really hoping no one wants to have a go at a big dive to the inside. It's such a difficult corner to fit two cars wide in. Level 8 uh, doesn't end up at the wall. Ewan is going to make a dive to the inside. We will... Sorry, you can hear stuff in the background. A cat's found a box. Abaddon likes his box that he can tear apart, and that's what he's doing currently, which is entertainment for the evening. Uh, so I apologise for that. I heard him knock it off the desk just as this race started, and I can't do anything about it now. We're coming. He waits. He knows. He knows I'm in the middle of recording when I can't go and stop him. And that's when he screws around. Oh, we're going to stuck on the outside. Oh, I'm a danger man. Not much I can do here. Just try and get some slipstream from level 8. That'll do. And then we might be able to fling ourselves towards the lead. Although we're going to be stuck on the outside through here. Uh, it's always sketchy. Uh, you don't... Downside on the outside there is the car on the inside wanders wide for whatever reason. 
uh, they are going to end up putting you in a wall and you will come off worse basically we saw it with Lombo was unfortunate and that's just yeah that's the, the, the risk you take on the outside line um, sometimes we did not get a good run down start finish straight we are now three wide into turn one. Oh, it's all going a little bit sketchy I <laughs> uh, can't believe no one rolled there uh, I didn't. I did not want to be out that wide. You and most definitely did not want to be stuck on the outside of us through there. Um, everyone was kind of a lot more committed than we really probably should have been through turn one. Oh, that's a big slide. All my momentum's going to vanish. Uh, actually not. I think we managed to just get the slipstream quick enough that uh, the momentum. Oh dear. Oh dear. Panic and a wall. Well, it was a light kiss on the wall at that point. Then Pega's going to fire past. Possibly, we're going to be on the outside again through this next corner. Uh, might have a lift. We'll see. Yeah, we'll have a. Uh, it's ambitious. <laughs> there was kind of a little bit of a gap that we could get away with running into. Danger Man, I think, got a helping hand from a Ewan there. Uh, we, we're just always stuck on this super tight line around the final turn. There may well be. I mean, Pega's just been shunted to the lead. There may well be. Oh, Lado, that's that's insane. It's got. <laughs> Gone wrong. <laughs> Cars have gone to space. And Danger Man exploded. That took so long. We got to the next corner before Danger Man exploded. That's how long that one took. Jeez. I think the FIA have something to say about the safety of Turn One. If there's an accident at Turn One, um, cars getting launched off a mountain is not good. Oh, cars got connected. I couldn't steer away from that one. <laughs> the other two found a tree. How did they find a tree? Uh, I, I'm sorry, Glisco, there's nothing I could do on that one. We, once the car got the slightest tag from Lado, we were getting turned left and left, and there was zero steering on, on my end. Um, I don't know how Blakey and Ewan, maybe, ended up being fired at a tree. It, maybe they were trying to avoid our accident. And maybe it was a little late, actually. Yeah, they were trying to avoid our accident, and that led them to get connected and steer themselves to a tree. We get a great run on the exit of the final corner. I, mean, that, I think that higher line is the way to go, really. Um, we will run all through the first corner with a lot of oversteer. Uh, now we'll enjoy a small bit of peace and quiet, but it's not going to be long. Uh, it's, there's Danger Man. Danger Man and Impega are unlike. I mean, they had the most spectacular of crashes. I'll give them that. As I've often said, if you're going to crash, make sure it's spectacular and on camera. And that one there really fits in the bill. I've now got Lado on the inside, so don't close the door on that one. We'll leave plenty of space. As it happens, I mean, we've still got a good run off that corner. Still carry good momentum. Back end's not quite going to stick if we chuck it in there full throttle, but uh, it's stuck well enough for us to carry speed. Oop, that is going to give us a bump. That'll actually keep us ahead of Gliska. Uh, and, I mean, it works. It gets us ahead of Gliska. Got Lado past Gliska. I think they were hoping to pass me as well. Didn't quite work. Although wonky line there is going to cost us all our momentum. The blue car is going to get past. Gliska's going to give Lado a help. We are... Oh, what, now we're on that tight... I don't like the tight line around the final corner. There's no speed in it uh, through there. Although level 8 gets a better run than all of us uh, as we head across the line with a couple of laps to go. It's three wide into turn one once again. We are going to profit from not being a part of the three wide, basically. Might have a look at the hairpin. Level 8 knew we were there. It gave us some... Level 8 gave us ooh, some space. Oh, got connected again. That was exactly the same as what happened with me and Lado, and this time with me and Blakey. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm glad we were. Like, we, we saw that one happening. We actually managed to get out of that better uh, because I could jump behind the wall. Like I was trying to turn away, but once you kind of lent into the, the nudge and went around the back of the wall, we lost a bunch of time, but it could have been a million times worse. If we tried to pull it to the inside of the wall, it would have lost even more time. I think that's what Blakey ended up doing. And, yeah, has lost some time. Although we're now going to be very slow with this battle pack going on. Um, it's, yeah, Impego will catch it before the end of the race, 100%. Blakey may well join. If, if Blakey's close enough to get a slipstream off Impego, may well join in as, uh, as well by the end of this one. We've got a great run on that high line again. Lado with a huge run to the inside will maybe take the lead of the race. Danger Man's looking the long way around, but he's going to be slow on the exit. Ewan somehow skates away from the wall once again. We're in the middle of a three wide. Uh, Lado and Danger Man are almost connected. It's now four wide. I did not want to be part of a four wide through here. I'm actually happy to lift for a second. Uh, <laughs> this is not the final lap of the race. Uh, any manoeuvre 
as I said before in a recent video, any manoeuvre I do at this point in the race will not win me the race. But it sure as hell can make me lose it if it goes horribly wrong. Because uh, we won't have time to recover from a big accident. And... Oh, we're going to just sit on the outside here. We're going to make the most of uh, a slipstream, anything we can get. But yeah, if you if you get tangled and get spat into a wall, you don't have time to recover. Uh, whereas if I make a pass for the lead, we might have the lead, but someone will get past us fairly quickly. So it's better to play it just a smidge safely uh, and wait for the opportune moment to strike. When that might be, I don't know. Uh, everyone is up wide here. I'm going to try and cut back and follow the Ewan line. Oh, that of pinged off a wall in a really weird way. He gets launched off level 8. What on earth did Lado hit? I don't know. I thought that wall was smooth. I didn't realise there were any, any bumps along there. Uh, there certainly were some bumps because Lado got into a world of trouble. Uh, it was a bit of a half-hearted look by me there at the inside of you. And maybe I would have been better off just following, but uh, yeah. It's, it's all worked out okay. We pushed Gliska forward a smidge. Gliska's actually pushed Ewan forward a little bit. Ewan gets a slide. We get a slide. Danger Man's got a good run on the outside. We've got a great run through the middle. I've got nowhere to go with it. We're going to actually sit and follow Danger Man now. Uh, we're to the inside. Lost the back end of the car. Ewan's in trouble. Ewan's rolled it. Ewan's got over. Blakey's back in the group. And Pegg has recovered from having a tumbling Ewan in front. That big slide by me has really cost me, I think. Any chance we have is gone. Uh, Longbow slow mid-corner. Yeah, we're all bottled up in this one. It's all fallen apart. It's one big oversteer moment at a bad time for me. Level 8 has got the lead of the race in this one. Will they be passed to the line? It looks like Danger Man might get it. It's a big scramble across the finish line. Ah, fell apart for me a little bit there. Uh, <laughs> Just a smidge. Impega got victory, in fact. Danger Man takes second, tenth of a second separating them. Level 8 ends up in third. I mean, between Danger Man and me in seventh was just over a second. I mean, we, we were basically there in the fight and lost it from one oversteer moment. Ewan also, uh, Ewan had an oversteer moment, got even more unlucky than me. Somehow Impega rolled Ewan over, got in the slipstream trail, managed to, to recover. Oh, that was good fun, though. I really enjoyed that race. It came seventh, but I really enjoyed it. We have a night race. I didn't mean to put it as a night race, but we do have a night race for <laughs> for the second time of asking at uh, uh, the Brands Hatch circuit, as it will have said at the start. Um, I am hoping, very much hoping, we can uh, have another good race with the Tailgater. Uh, this is the Tailgate S, one of the newer vehicles to the game. I think we drove it a little while ago. I was really expecting something. I mean, there will be a car. No, no one had a big dive at the inside. I'm really surprised. I was fully expecting there to be a big car on the inside. We gave, gave plenty of space and everyone was sensible. This does not seem right. It won't last. We got 10 laps of racing. There is zero chance that sensible lasts the entire way. Uh, Tailgate, from what I remember, is a pretty decent car to drive. It seems like it's got decent handling, good grip. Uh, what it's going to do with contact is always the. Uh, it's always a big question, because let's face it, there's going to be contact. <laughs> it's touring car racing at the end of the day. Here goes Impega for a pass. Uh, we'll, we might be able to fight back around the outside here. Possibly. Yeah, he's got, actually, I think the Rapid GT had so little grip, that now we've gone to this, that's a very different, very different uh, sort of prospect. Now, a lot of these corners that were sketchy in the... Uh, Rapid are now not sketchy, really. I don't know if turn one... Oh, okay. Won't bump draft with these. <laughs> Definitely don't do... Oh, hello, Danger Man. Where are you going? That's not where you go at all. Danger Man tried to carry a lot of speed into turn one. It did not work. I can guarantee you that one. Um, I mean, considering how bad things went for us at turn one, the fact that we're still actually in fifth, eh, could have been worse. Could have been worse. I can't really do much in terms of an overtake here. There's not going to be any room. So we're just going to kind of coast through that corner. A little bit of a shame. We're trying to get a slipstream off Aaron, but not able to. Oh, that's a bad line for me. Earth, was that noise? It sounds like a firework launcher. Is it, oh, it might just be the... Turn oh, okay, never mind. I take it back. My dog was making a funny noise downstairs that I could hear. Yeah. <laughs> the, dog was, the dog was whining at the same sort of way the slipstream, the, the combination, I don't know if you've heard it on the microphone, combination of sounds with the slipstream from the game as well. It was very, very weird. 
Uh, we at this four wide, Lado's got a massive run, and Lado will get to the lead. Oh, I wanted to turn in there, and a pink car turned up with a lot of speed. Oh, it's a big pile up through turn one, uh, as I say, uh, as expected. It's always going to happen at some point. Oh, Lado's been turned. Oh, it's all gone terribly wrong there. <laughs> uh, it's just a, I don't even know what started that. I thought we were clear on the outside. And I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> I don't quite know how it all sort of, how the crash kind of wandered its way wide, but it, either way it did. I mean, it's not the end of the day. The leader's not very, there's the leader just ahead. They're not very far away. We will definitely have opportunity to catch them by the end of it. Um, I feel like I'm struggling a little bit to make pace here. I, I think these cars have so much more grip than I'm expecting. I'm actually not really driving them hard enough, although that was then a little bit too uh, aggressive by me. Trying to be clever didn't work. Uh, Gris is going to get the pass on us, I and mean, we were just sort of shuffled our way to the back of the field at the moment. Oh, Amy's gone very, very the wrong direction. That makes me think that might have been a controller turn off, uh, <laughs> or something like that. The car's just vanished off the track. Oh, oh God, sorry, Longbow. Oh, Longbow got some lag. There was definitely some lag involved with that one. Bloody hell, because uh, <laughs> kind of Longbow got nudged and corrected, and it all went very weird. Um, yeah, I don't know quite know where Lobo's car was for sitting there. That's, um, that's annoying and unfortunate, and... Well, what I was saying about it, it isn't the end of the race yet. There's still time for us. However... We're going to have to do this absolutely right. We, we cannot afford any more mistakes now. So we're going to have to get the absolute maximum out of the tailgater. And, okay, what does help us is more cars have dropped off the lead group. So, if the whole lead group had been together, it would have been tougher. But now we've got Danger Man and Gliska, as well as Longbow and Lado. We've got enough people that we can work together, hopefully, and be able to catch up. Although, hey, no, they did not work for me at all there. Uh, we might still just about be in the slipstream. Hmm, okay. I wanted to, because we were oh, at an awkward angle the slipstream off Gliska. I've actually made a right mess of turn. I'm not driving this. I don't know why I'm struggling to get to grips with this car. Because it's a really easy car to drive. It should be really easy to drive this, but I'm just not driving it very well. I'm just struggling to make the most of the speed that there clearly is in the vehicle. Uh, Gliska clonks the wall though, and that's going to kill all the momentum that they have going on. We've got a load of speed. I've got nowhere to go with it. Go Longbow, go! Uh, Oh, maybe a little bit too much go. <laughs> I didn't push all the way through the corner. I already pushed on the way in. And we're going to chose the point to break at for that one. Um, but, uh, oh, we actually haven't any caught the lead pack, at least. So that's something. Uh, they, they can bump draft a little bit with them. Maybe I'm just unlucky with a bump from Impega at the start of this one. But, yeah, I'm not doing a great job of getting the most out of this car. However, I say that we've not driven by, you know, I'm... Not satisfied with my driving, shall we say. I've definitely driven better. Um, however, all that being said, we are almost back into the fight at least. There's, there's still that chance is there. Pega leads the way uh, and is only, you know, a couple of seconds ahead of us basically. So, yeah, there's still a chance. We've got to try not make any more mistakes. It is lap, what is it, lap 6 now out of 10, so we will struggle, we'll struggle to recover from a big mistake. Uh, I think Ladder had a lift, and I mean, we'll make the most of the opportunity a little bit there. Uh, the thing is, yep, we're alongside, we're past for now, although Ladder will have slipstream for the next section. Uh, we are... Uh, well, I mean, we're in the tow. We're carrying good speed, but we're going to run out of places to go with it. We give Level 8 a push, and now there's going to be a car to the inside. I don't, I don't mind. Well, with the Rapid, I was finding more speed on the higher line through there. With this, I'm just not finding any speed, apparently. Longbow's got a good tow. Longbow's going to go to the outside three wide at turn one. That is brave. Ewan gets launched off the circuit. Ewan's gone. <laughs> Ewan is off the track. ladder has gone deep into turn two. We are stuck on the outside. That was a hell of a crash from Ewan. That was a... <laughs> It's definitely a dangerous turn. Turn one, Brands is tricky at the best of times. It is a dangerous corner. Easy to make mistakes on. Um, lots of cars get buried in the gravel. They don't normally hit a hill and uh, fly. 
It doesn't know normally normally what goes on. It's uh, <laughs> brands. So it's a fun addition to this GTA-ified version. We've got loads of momentum here. Got nowhere to go with it. Um, I didn't actually intend. I meant to go past Danger Man. I just slightly misjudged it. Ended up giving Danger Man a push. I got no speed coming out of this corner. Addo is going to the outside, I think. No, that's easy flat for there. That okay. So the line's a little bit different in this than the Rapid GT. Uh, oh. <laughs> See what, if that was a photo finish, that would have been spectacular. It's still got a couple of laps to go, but we do lead the race now. Uh, in, oh, I thought there were cars going to go to the inside. I was giving, trying to give space to cars on the inside, not realising Gliskill was actually going to go try to fit through the awkward gap on the outside. As, so yeah, slightly my bad on that one, didn't realise until too late. This time we are four wide towards the next corner. Five wide even with Lado having a look there as well. We all make it through. Just about. Make, Danger Man makes it through the best. Longbow's got a great run down this next section. I mean, we're not able, which not able to make anywhere near as much lap time because you've got to lift so much because of all the other cars around. So if you get a clean corner, you suddenly carry so much momentum down a straight that uh, you really do catch up to uh, the vehicles ahead. We're going to sweep around the outside of Danger Man. We've got a good run up this final, up to this final corner. Uh, we can sweep down in front of Gliska. Now, the interesting thing, what will the run to the finish line be like? It would not be enough for me. Uh, if Whoa, that's the way it goes. Hey, I'm, oh, Gliska and Ewan got together. Me and Blakey survived a scare uh, on that one. Uh, we've got Lado leading the way. Danger Man is looking to the inside. And Peg is there looking as well. And we see we'll get a good run on the exit of that hairpin on that outside line. Oh, dear. <laughs> Something was always going to happen. Ah, uh, there's the hay bales. The hay bales got us. Um, yeah, I think I think I might have been hitting that one on my own if Lado hadn't. Although I think part of it was I was reacting to what the car ahead was doing. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, it was a difficult line to beat on either way. Um, and yeah, it has made a mess of the pack. We've got away from that amazingly. Uh, we have we've we've escaped probably the best. Oh, outside of the top two cars, Danger Man and Pega that escaped it. We've definitely got away the best. We've got one lap to go. Can we be in a position here to challenge for the lead? I think so. We'll definitely be in the fight. We've got great hope off that final corner. We'll get to the inside of Impega here. Oh, that was a limit of the grip of the Audi here. Oh, ran wide. Didn't want to do that. So, as I've said before, that out that. So the slightly wider line, I don't mind through there. You do still carry some good speed on the exit. Uh, but uh, that was a little bit too wide, even for even for that line. Don't want to get squished against the wall through there, basically. Uh, that's why we had a little bit of a lift. And Pega is right there. He's going to... Uh, actually hasn't got the toe off the back of me like I was expecting him to. Uh, we will take the lead of the race. Well, I'm expecting Pega to have a look down here, this section. Yeah, pega has got a good run. In his past, Danger Man is actually a little further back in all of this. And Pega brushes the wall. That's not so good for me. Here comes Danger Man with a run. No, Danger Man just pushes Impega forward. That I did not want to have happen. That might have actually given Impega the win here. Uh, we are trying desperately to get a slipstream, but it's not going to be enough yet. The bump from Danger Man was enough to do it. It pushed Impega just far enough ahead, and then I couldn't get any slipstream. And Amy has uh, found... Uh, an interesting place to park. Is that the top of Chiliad? I think it's a ski lift, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Pega claims a victory. We will have to settle for second. We're close, but uh, could not do uh, anything about it at the death. Danger Man takes third. Gliska's fourth ahead of level eight. Lombo in uh, sixth in all of this. Um, yeah, things things went wrong for you, and we saw you and Escarpe the circuit at some point. Lado was with us for a lot of it, but uh, things went wrong at the end there. Ah, oh, that was a fun, again, it's a fun race. Good rendition of Brands Hatch, definitely. Again, for for the limitations you have in, in GTA 5, that is a uh, a very good rendition of uh, of Brands Hatch. Thank you very much to a troll by 1337 who built this, uh, this track. And thank you all very much for watching. But that is going to be it for this video. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.